Hi, I'm Natasha. I'm with Onyx Model Management. I'm 5'10", and I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, so, as a little girl, I grew up with uh, a lot of Harper's Bazaar, because my mom ordered it, she had the subscription. So I uh, would take out the pages of the magazine, and I would pin them up on my, well, I would tape them up on my walls in my room. And I was obsessed with them. I was obsessed with the models. I was obsessed with the, I think the lifestyle, just the way they looked. And all my friends would ask me, uh, you know, when you come into my room, you see like, half-naked women on my walls, and I'm like eight years old. And why do you have all these women? And I'd always answer, because they're beautiful. You know, because that's going to be me one day. <laughs> they're amazing. I was actually, I was working in a restaurant in Zoe's Kitchen, and Janet came up to me. And I had thought, I had, like I said, when I was little, I was obsessed with modeling. And I had thought about modeling before, but I never thought it was like a, an actual thing, a realistic goal. And she told me, no, this is a real thing. This is a realistic goal. You have what it takes. And I was like, okay. So she, Onyx, and Jan, Zoe's Kitchen. That's where it all started. <laughs> me in a, a Greek dressing stained shirt. Uh, Personally, I really think it's my uh, ethnic background. I look very Slovakian, Russian, European-ish, and my name is Russian, Natasha, but I'm not at all. Um, my mom's Mexican, and I'm Irish and Mexican, and I think my dad's like Danish, uh, so I guess that is a little European, but uh, I, uh, I think it makes for really big facial uh, features, which I have. I have the big lips, the big brows, the, the the, the dark hair, the dark features, and the, the strong jaw, and they're not a usual combo, Irish and Mexican. And I, um, I, it took me a while to grow into it. <laughs> As a kid, I did not think I was pretty. Uh, I had these, uh, you know, big ears, I was tall, I had a big mouth, and <laughs> big features, but I, I think I grew into it. Uh, five years, so, 23. Um, hopefully, still modeling. I'd like to, but I also really want to do film. I really want to um, not only get into acting, but the making of film, directing, and uh, just uh, cinematography in general. I really uh, love it. I love the way it impacts people. Favorite designer and, and brand, uh, Alexander Queen. Uh, him, uh, designer, favorite designer, because of what an icon, what a game changer for fashion. I mean, can you name someone else who impacted the world that much, not only in everyday life, like in American people, and uh, but not just American world, but, you know, common people, but also in fashion, the way a show was. He made it a theatrical show. Like a fashion show isn't just, it's a show. You're wowed. <laughs> My gym show to walk, I, I feel a lot better in this. It's, it's Dolce and Gabbana for sure, just because their shows, like I said with Alexander McQueen, are a show. You are, like, wow. Like, it's, um, it's all about, and like their campaigns too, it's all about family, it's all about life, it's all about life, and it's living. And their shows are always very engaging. They're always something to do. Like, I think, uh, was it two years ago, they had the selfie thing, and it's just a, it's modern, but it's also, engaging and theatrical and uh, full of life. I've been really fortunate growing up. My mom was a flight attendant, so I got to travel a lot because she uh, had, you know, the abilities to. So, um, but I've never been to Spain and I really, really want to go. I think, uh, like I said with Dolce & Gabbana, it's, uh, it's full of life. I want to experience it and be a part of it. In my free time, I really uh, like ballet. I used I danced with a like a pre-professional program, basically like on a pre-professional route, and uh, ended up leaving that obviously. But I um, so whenever I can, I try to take open classes for ballet. I also film. I really like I said, I really love film. I'm really interested in it. And I'm in college right now. I'm leaving after the semester, but. Uh, my film class is definitely the best thing about school so far. I am so like captivated by it. I wanna start modeling now. I wanna, cause I can always go back to school and I'd like to go to a school for film. So I think that opportunity 
would be even better with the modeling background, with the connections I could make and with the people I could know. Oh God, it's <laughs> bad. Like, it's really bad. Like, I feel like I had PTSD afterwards. Um, I, so this was with ballet. It was two years ago, or no, it was last year. The Nutcracker. Uh, I was in Flowers, the dance of the waltz of the flowers, and I had never, I was just an understudy. I had never, uh, I'd done the actual dance like three times. Yeah, three, four times I'd done the actual, like in the core, done the dance full out. Uh, they put me in two shows, and I go to do the first show, and I'm in the wing, and uh, the first, the, the left side goes, and they do and then the right side goes on stage. And I had a girl tell me when to go because I didn't know. So the left side goes and she tells me, go. So I go and I'm the only one on my side who goes out and I am standing there by myself. I did have a tear roll down on stage, smiled, and just stood there and waited for my side to follow along. But yeah, <laughs> definitely uh, the most traumatic and embarrassing thing that's ever, you know, it was in front of so many people. I survived them. <laughs> Probably the um, the lifestyle change I recently had because with taking modeling seriously and wanting this to be my life, like I, I want this, I want it so bad. Uh, so the diet change I've made, the I, I've always been really like involved with exercise and healthy living, but I never took it as quite as seriously as I do now. And now I'm one of those really annoying health freak people who uh, <laughs> really, I, so I get, yeah, I guess my greatest achievement is the health changes I've made, the, the weight loss I've made, which ha wasn't a significant amount of weight that I had to lose. It was just deciding that internal decision that this is what I want and these are the sacrifices I have to make in order to get there. This, if you know me, if you're my friend, if you're even like, have met me twice, you know that I'm obsessed with Frida Kahlo, the painter, the artist, the icon. <laughs> uh, I, why? Because go, growing up, I guess a lot of things with me had growing up have to do with growing up, but uh, growing up, my mom and uh, my Mexican culture she always uh, influenced Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo and um, art and Mexican art and uh, Hispanic culture. And I, at first I thought it was weird. I was like, what, what is Frida Kahlo? Why is she naked? Why is there like baby wombs everywhere? Why the <laughs> eyebrows? I don't get it. And then I started to grow up a little bit. I started to get this interest in art history and I realized she, is not only an artist but an inspiration and her life story is really what inspired me. She was someone who was constantly in pain, someone who was constantly suffering, yet full of life. And all the people who knew her, all the people who met her say that, it's documented saying that she was someone who captivated an entire room with her presence and the, the art that she created through her pain, it moves you, it touches you, you're impacted by her art. and her inspiration that of how she kept living and creating is really what inspires me and I hope to impact people like she impacted me. Perfect. Thanks Natasha. Bye.